More strong words today, including an expletive from Madison Mayor Paul Soglin. This time it's about the council's action this week on a proposal to ban sleeping on city sidewalks. Jessica Arp has the latest on the story from the newsroom tonight. Jess? Well, yeah, this is the second time the council has rejected a proposal from Soglin to limit when or where the homeless could be in the city, but that doesn't mean he's done trying. The proposal that we were working on was very simple. People had to pick up their stuff. Madison Mayor Paul Soglin again called out members of the city council, this time for voting against a proposal to ban sleeping on city sidewalks from 7 to 10 a.m., a measure to address what he says is a public health issue at the top of State Street. Soglin said he'd reintroduce the plan again, rather than work with council members who had opposed it. You'll recall in that discussion, people kept on talking about let's come up with something else. The phrase something else is not a solution. That's bull****. What we need is something specific that we know addresses the problem. I absolutely think this will be defeated again. Alderwoman Amanda Hall voted against the plan. I know that our time would be better spent finding better solutions and real solutions rather than relitigating things that aren't solutions at all. She says the council is trying to create more shelters and address addiction and mental health issues long term. There's a saying that we have, if it's fast, it doesn't last. So sweeping generalizations and sweeping quote unquote reforms really aren't going to get the job done here. We have to recognize that homeless people are people, that everyone's going to need something a little bit different. Soglin says his proposal would allow police to address behavior now and hopes the public is behind him. Now is the time for the people of this city to act. Now is the time for them to express themselves to their alders and to make it very clear. Soglin said he'd also like to see the city's panhandling ordinances be reintroduced after he says they have been, quote, languishing in committee. It's not clear whether or when that would happen. Jessica Arp in the newsroom tonight. Jess, thanks.